All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about, uh, well, you're gonna have a question about like a track. I'm not gonna use the same numbers, but I'm gonna use an approximate number um, for a track, okay? So you have a track like this and you're gonna do two things today. You're going to find the area of the track and the circumference. We're gonna do both, okay? So let me just cover one at a time. So the first, let's put some numbers here. So I don't wanna use the same one as the book. So let me do, uh, let's say this is 30. So that means the other side is 30 as well, okay? And that means going across, let's make it 70. I know it's not really realistic. It's supposed to be more than that, but for now we're just gonna use those numbers. So this question applies no matter what you're doing, okay? So first we're going to do the area so in in black i'm going to do the area and area means all the space within okay so uh let's go ahead and do all the space within and actually i'm going to go ahead and use the blue eyeliner so we're going to do all this space you see that now what are the two shapes that make this it's actually on the side let me re-highlight you have a half circle with another half circle that makes a whole circle. Does that make sense? And on the inside, you have a rectangle. Okay, now let's, let's break that apart for area. So on the left side, I'm gonna go ahead and split the page and left side, I'm going to do area. And for the circle, we have a circle with diameter of 30. So we're gonna take the area equation, it's pi r squared. And as you see, we don't know what R is, but if you remember, R is half of the diameter. So what's half of 30? Well, that's 15. So we're gonna do pi times 15 squared. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into my calculator. So we're gonna type in 3.14 times 15 times 15 again, or you could do it 15 squared and you'll get 706.5 if you're using pi as 3.14. However, this is just area of the circle. This just covered the circle. We also need the rectangle in the middle, which is 30 by 70. And that's nice and easy. It's just area is base times height. So that's 70 times 30, which gets me 2100. Now, the total area is if I add the two together, 2100 plus 706.5, and I would get 2806.5. Okay, so everyone, that is just the area. Now, now it's time to cover on this side, we're going to cover circumference. Let me go ahead and change my color to red. So this side, we're gonna cover cir circumference. Okay, now circumference is, pay attention closely, we're going to highlight around the shape. Circumference is around the shape. Now running around the shape, okay? So it's like running around a track. Now, I get this question all the time. Do we count this 30 and 30? Now think about it. Do you run across that during the track? Not unless you're cheating. So. We're going to go around and run this length, which is 70. This length, which is also 70. And then if we're going around this, what is that? That's half the circumference with another circumference. So what we're really doing is we're doing the circle circumference plus the two lengths right here, okay? The, sev the two 70s. Do you understand that? And the circumference is 2 pi r or pi d, okay? So once more, we're going we're gonna to figure out this circumference, which is 2 pi r. And, and since we figured it out, don't forget, the radius was 15. So then we do 2 times 3.14 times 15. And we get 94.2 is the circumference. So that means everyone running around the track on the two sides together is 94.2. And we can say it's one circumference because we just split to a circle 
in half and, and pull them to the sides. And then anyway, so the total area, I mean, the total perimeter around the shape is the 94.2 plus the 70 plus the 70. And together, uh, after all that, we should get 234.2. Let me plug that into my calculator to double check. Yes, 234.2. All right, that's it for today. And I hope you guys understand this. Oh my gosh, I cannot do the, there you go, 234.2. And I hope you guys understand the difference between area and circumference for this shape. Thank you for watching.